Eugenie is still trying to forget the brutal attack that left her arms virtually useless. As Eugenie begged for her life, her attackers showed no mercy. However, Eugenie was still alive and a villager helped her across the river to safety. She has no intention of returning home. Despite the lull in the violence, the brutality of the attacks has left a permanent scar on its victims. Many of the refugees fled during attacks on their villages and were unable to bring anything with them across the river. Living in dozens of sites along the Ubangi, they are completely dependent on the goodwill of locals and the small amount of aid that's gotten through. UNHCR has deployed teams by boat up the river to access some of the most remote sites. However, the water level is now extremely low, limiting access to those who need help most. Actuellement, nous sommes en période d'étiage, c'est-à-dire à la baisse des eaux. Et il est difficile de naviguer sur l'Ubangi. Donc, actuellement, nous avons du mal à atteindre certains sites de réfugiés parce que les voies d'accès n'est que le fleuve et on ne peut pas y accéder actuellement. C'est une grande euh, difficulté pour l'opération, sans oublier l'insécurité sur le fleuve Ubangi. At the sites which are accessible, the conditions are minimal at best. One site for a refugee camp is still under construction and will only accommodate the most vulnerable refugees. The families who are crowded into this former match factory have little shelter from the rain and are surviving on what they forage from the forest. <laughs> Jose fled with her husband and five children. They tried to escape in one of the ferries that ply the Ubangi, but the attackers followed. Like the other refugees, Jose says she doesn't want to return to her home unless she's sure the rebels have been arrested. For now, she has no means to support herself and hopes that aid will arrive soon. This fight is over water. Except for the river, there's no source of clean water here. But it's not the only resource that's in short supply. These refugees are in need of everything. Food, shelter, basic supplies for living. In many villages, the refugees outnumber the locals, and shortages are becoming chronic. Severely wounded refugees like Eugenie only hope that when this new refugee camp opens in the coming weeks, that she will be one of the lucky few who will find a temporary home there. Until then, she relies on the goodwill of others to help her survive.